Hello and welcome back to my channel. Uh, this video, I'm going to be talking about the books that I am planning on reading as soon as possible, as soon as I get my hands on them in the month of March of this year. So let's get started. Uh, it's going to be a quick list. There's there's a total of eight books on my list. And the first one that's on there is called The London Seance Society by Sarah Penner. It is a mystery, th mystery thriller historical fiction. And it's by the same author who wrote Lost Apothecary, which I have not read, but I heard, I have heard that some mixed feelings. Some people love it. Some people don't love it. But I read the description about it, uh, uh, the brief description about it on Goodreads. And I, I'm intrigued. It's about two daring women who hunt for truth and justice in the perilous art of conjuring the dead. So possible necromancy, ghosts, the dead. Sounds like a fun time. The next book that I plan on picking up as soon as I can is In Shadowed Dreams by S. Judith Bernstein. It's a novella. Um, it's a fantasy mystery. The first time I heard about this book was from the YouTube channel Reads with Rachel. Um, I follow her on both on Goodreads, YouTube, and Twitter, and I, she's a fun time. She's very picky about the books that she likes and doesn't like, and she gave it five stars. So I want to give it a shot if she gave it such a high rating. Next book is A Witch's Guide. So the next book is A Witch's Guide to Fake Dating a Demon by Sarah Hawley. It's a contemporary fantasy romance, and I anticipate that it's going to be really cute. It's the the title says it all for me a, a woman summons a demon and they start to fake date which i think is hilarious so the next is a another novella and it's called the lies of a Jun, a jungo by moses utomi and it's supposedly going to be the first book in a series for, forever desert um it's a fantasy novella where a boy who goes on a quest to bring water back to his city to help save his mother. And I thought that's that sounds really cute and in intriguing. Next book we've got is Foxglove King by Hannah F. Witten. And it's the number we're going to be the first book in a series called The Nightshade Kingdom. This one went labeled on Goodreads. It had a few tags on it. It was a fantasy romance, but it had also adult and YA tags. So I'm like, I'm not quite sure if it, which, where it's going to lead. Maybe it's going to be more in the middle. Um, and the description that it's got on Goodreads is a young woman's secret power to raise the dead plunges her into the dangerous and glamorous world of the sainted king's royal court. So Necromancy of the Dead. It's kind of weird that I, I picked two books on this list that have like raising the dead and talking to the dead and necromancy on here, especially for the month of March. It's, it's a little strange, but whatever, I'm with it. The next book on my list is The Crown of Oaths and Curses by Jay Bree. And it's gonna be the first book in a new series of hers. And I don't know a whole lot about it, only that it's gonna be a, a fantasy romance. Um, and I'm interested in it because I've read a few of her other series before and it's likely going to be a smutty romance, but I don't know that for sure, but that's just based on my personal experience with some of her other books. So I'm, I'm excited. I think it'll be a fun time. I've read the novella, the first, there's going to be, there's, there's two prequel novellas leading up to, it. I've read the first one. The second one hasn't come out quite yet. It's due to come out within like the week. And the first novella I really enjoyed. Next book is Mountains Made of Glass by Scarlett St. Clair. And it's the, it's going to be a first in the series called Fairy Tale Retelling. It's very likely going to be a smutty romance. I'm a sucker for smutty romances. I really like her other books like the Adriana Sold and the Hades and Persephone series. So I'm I really like this author and I like her writing style, so I'm excited to try another series of hers. And the last book on my list is a Katie Robert novel, another smutty romance. So it's a, this list has got half and half smutty romance books and others like not smutty romance, but I'm, 
I really enjoy them. So whatever, but it's called the gargoyles captive and it's the third book in a deal with the demon. And I really liked the first two. They're very much guilty pleasure, smutty romance novels. It's where a group of girls, they made a deal with a demon to get themselves out of like some really bad situations and they go to another world and they basically no surprise they get together with some some creatures that are intelligent and what, what have you so and i in each book is basically about a particular girl and the leaders of the realm of this world that they're going to so and this is going to be the third book and i really enjoyed the first two as i said but that's my list i really can't wait to read these. Uh, let me know in the comments below any books that you're interested in reading in the month of March, and I'll probably take a look at them and possibly add them to my list. And thank you so much for watching, like, comment, and subscribe.